Hi everyone, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up course modules. I'm going to give you examples of um, previous modules that I've completed in the past. So right now what you see is the free account that I set up on Canvas's website for teachers. So right now I just have, you can see, an empty module. All right, so we're in my course that I used last year for my eighth grade students. You can see I actually had my home, instead of having a home set up as a page, I had it set up as modules. And here is their orientation module, but I want you to pay special attention to this first module down here. It was week one, August 12th through August 16th. So instead of labeling each module as module one, lesson one, or module one, lesson two, and so on, I instead created each module by week and then broke it down by day. Right here you can see we had blocks, so I did Tuesday, Wednesday here. And so you can create a module this way if that's how you want to organize it. This might be e an easy setup for your students because then they can see, oh, well, we're in week one, here's the dates, and Monday this is what I have to do on this day, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, this is what I have to do, and so on. So this first week you can see I just posted my science um, syllabus here. I had an acknowledgement page that my students had to sign. So this is the blended model that I used for Canvas. So these are things, I'll just click on them real quick, things that I printed out in class, but they had access to them online. So if they lost their copy, they could just print it out at home. This is the first kind of style you can set it up as or you can set it up like this. So this is my seventh grade classroom that I've switched over to from last year, and I have set it up as modules. This was easier for me in this class because we had so much content and we completed some things not in a day. So it was just a different setup. And like I said, you can create whatever setup you want. So we have module one, lesson one, I have the module overview, Here's lesson one, all the assignments that we completed in this lesson. And then down here, module one, lesson two, and so on. And one of the things that was really nice, and I don't have access to do this anymore because this um, account is closed, but I posted one lesson or published one lesson at a time. So students only had access to this module at once, or even I could pop, uh, pu publish this module, but I published, let's say, two assignments at first, and then I posted more assignments as the week continued on. So this is just another look or example of a uh, finished module. Okay, so now we're going to walk through the process of creating that module. So here's my module one. I'm just going to focus on doing it like this because um, I think it's easier to demonstrate it by module or essentially unit lesson here. So I'm going to do module one and I'm going to click the plus button to add content. Uh, the first thing I'm going to just do is add an assignment and I can give it whatever title I want. I'm just going to put M1 for module one and let's title this assignment one. Make it easy. All right, so now we have an assignment. Okay, now I'm gonna go and add a discussion. So we click this little drop down menu and I'll click a discussion. We'll do M1 discussion. And then I, if I don't like the name, Let's say, oh, I should have put discussion one. I can click these three dots over here and click edit and then alter my um, title to anything that I create. Over here too, you can duplicate it. So I can click this and it will duplicate the assignment. I can remove the assignment. I can uh, create a dent. So maybe I have like a series of assignments that go together. They can all be indented in the same uh, row. I can increase it or decrease it. I'm going to move it back. 
I can also move it. So maybe I don't like the order. You can move it by clicking it here and then it will ask you what module you want to move it to. Another way to move it is to click over here and drag it. So you can create whatever order you want. Okay, so I'm going to click on this plus button again and I'm going to, so assignments, quizzes, um, files is different. So you can choose a file and you can, I'll just choose this image for now. And you can upload an image and you can put it into your course files like so. So I'll show you what it looks like. So now I've just, I have this image here that when the students click on it, they see when they upload it. So that's another thing you can do in modules. I'm going to remove it for now. Um, you can also add a text header. So let's just say I want to put that this is lesson one. I can do that and I can increase the indent here. I can also add external URL, so like any link. I'll just add this link that I've copied from YouTube and you can then name the link. So I'm going to name it Watch Me, just for fun. There you go. Now I can click on it and when I click on it, now I have an embedded video. All right, one of the last things I'm gonna add to this module is an external tool. So I'm gonna skip over attendance and chat tool because those are not used a whole lot in this section, but Google Drive, for those of you who are who love Google Classroom, this is gonna become your best friend, especially when you add your content eventually when I show you into assignments. So I'm just gonna use this as an example so this is just um, a present or a slideshow that I have in my drive. I'm going to open it. All right, I had to stop the video recording for a second because the program would not let me embed this when I was uh, screen recording. So I apologize for that. So uh, I'll just show you. All I did was hit the plus button and then this blue button uh, is, as you can see, hidden. And all I did was click it after my drive popped up. And so now when I click here, my syllabus or my slide, my Google slide will be here and students can view this Google slide. All right, so we have filled this module. These things, so like the assignment and the discussion have not been um, edited. So they're empty shells. So when I click on them, you'll see there's nothing here. I can click next. And there's nothing here in the discussion, but our video is there and our slides, our Google Slides are here also. So now one cool feature, and you can click on the three dots over here, is you can edit this module and add requirements. So you can require that students complete all of the assignments in the module. You can require students to move through um, your content in your module in, a, in that order that you have it placed in, or you can require that they only have to complete one of these requirements. Um, or you can add requirements so students must complete one of these. So maybe it's, they have to, so see here, assignment one. Maybe they just have to view the item, or maybe they have to submit the assignment. Right here, uh, let's say for Watch Me, I want them to view the item. And for discussion, I want them to contribute to the page. And last one, Canvas Syllabus, view the item. And then I can uh, update this. Okay, so right now it says complete one item, but underneath it we have submit, contribute, view, and view. So these are the requirements. I'm going to change this real quick. So instead of having the students, they must complete only one of these. Now I'm going to uh, make it a requirement that they have to complete them all. And then if you want, you can have them. I'm going to click it for now. They have to go in the same, the, um, 
order that it's listed in. So now at the top of my module, it says complete all items. This is what your students will see. Okay, so that's the end of creating this module here. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks guys.